This video is supported by patrons like you. If you'd like to become a patron, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo. Being a YouTuber, it's always interesting to watch the rise of other people on the platform to see how big their star can get. In some cases, the YouTubers have moved over into feature films. In some cases, they've moved to late night television. And in the case of Sean Evans Hot Ones, it's now going to be moving to, I don't want to say network, but definitely cable television. In an article that popped up yesterday, YouTube Breakout Hot Ones gets game show treatment at True TV. Now, at first I was kind of like, wait, what, really? Okay, like that's interesting, but I'm not sold on the concept. In fact, I think the concept is kind of dumb and I think it's not going to last the way that he wants. I, I really, really, really do. But first let's take a look here as to what is happening and why it's happening. So according to this, it says, uh, popular YouTube series Hot Ones is making the jump to traditional TV. Let me first off say this, Lily Singh also made the jump to TV. She's on late night with, or a little late with Lily Singh, and it is one of the most abhorrently unfunny shows on television. I, 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 I tried watching it. I tried giving her the benefit of the doubt. I actually tried to, 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 to go, this is comedy. What in here is funny? And it's not funny. Nothing about it is funny. Now, Sean Evans is not Lily Singh. He has a lot more personality. He seems a lot more approachable. Even though he got into that little kerfuffle with Kevin Smith recently, he was just on Colbert and that went off really, really, really well. And it makes sense that he would be going to the late night crowd to go to that audience in order to then have this break. So then people who've seen that can go, oh, I like him and I want to see what comes next. And that's basically how the whole, you know, PR spin works or the PR cycle works. Anyway, Warner Media's True TV has ordered 20 episodes of a game show based on Sean Evans hosted interview show where celebrities discuss their uh, work and lives while eating increasingly spicy chicken wings. The uh, cable network has also licensed episodes of the talk show and will air the two back to back as part of the Hot Ones Hour. And that is something that's amazing because that, that I'm fascinated by because this is the first time that I have heard or seen that a, 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 a cable company, a cable network, a media conglomerate has instead of just adapting Something else, like let's say you had Miranda Sings uh, went to Netflix, did the two series for Haters Back Off, and uh, that show was, again, also terrible, but they adapted her persona for Netflix. Here, they're taking content that's on YouTube, that's been produced for YouTube, and they're licensing it for television. I haven't heard of that happening. That is a, that is the thing so many people should be talking about because that I feel is ultimately going to be uh, a big part of where we see some of these uh, YouTubers go in the future. Now, it says here that production on the game show is set to begin later in the fall. Uh, and they uh, they say here that fans around the world have tried creating their own versions of Hot One Challenge for years, but there's nothing better than the real thing. We're going to up the stakes and take this show to a new level of heat. Now, this is where it gets pretty bad. This is this is this is how they describe it. The Hot Ones game show, also hosted by Evans, will feature a two-person teams competing through three rounds of pop culture trivia while also eating hot wings. The winning team moves to the final round, the Ring of Fire, where they play a password game to get closer to the top prize of 25,000 and the antidote for their burning mouths. That's the stupidest damn thing I've heard of in a long time because it's completely against the idea of what the show is. And what I love is that this next that this next passage here it describes the show, describes what Hot Ones is, describes why people like it, and they're completely crapping on it because they are. It says here, our Hot Ones interview show is about deconstructing celebrities and making them seem like normal people, said Evans. With Hot Ones the game show, we're excited to flip the script and give everyday people the chance to achieve hot sauce glory. But you're not dissecting or deconstructing normal people. You're not finding out what makes them tick. You're not asking them questions. You're feeding them hot chicken wings and going like, hey, what character uh, was a breakout star from Superbad? With the, what, what was the name on the driver's license? Oh, her girl, her wife from McLovin, give me the goddamn milk. Ah, that's what you're doing. I don't care about that. And I don't think a lot of people are going to care about that because a lot of people out there are going to want to, 
they're, they're not they, if they, if they like hot ones for the fact that it deconstructs celebrities and makes them seem like normal people by asking them personal questions and having them discuss it in a way that is intimate yet still kind of enticing. It's it's funny and the way that Evans presents it. Why would you flip the script to any people out there, average people who come to Los Angeles and then can also get in on the show are going to be the ones that are going to eat hot sauce or eat, eat spicy chicken wings and answer trivia based questions. That's not the same thing as people replicating the hot ones challenge. <laughs> this is where I, and I'm just going to say it, Sean Evans, I'm sorry, bro. You're kind of a sellout here. You are, you're kind of a sellout. If you were going to take the concept of hot ones and put it on TV, I could get behind that. And the fact that you've licensed out previously made content, which has already made you a lot of money, which is now going to make you a lot more money. I would respect that even more if that's just what it was. And I respect the hustle on that one too, that true TV is going to do a hot ones hour. And it's going to be the game show followed by, or maybe preceded by the conversation. More people, I think, on true TV are going to be interested in the conversation. I think the game show is going to die. They only offered up 20 episodes, and I don't think it's going to last. But I want to show you guys why I think that, too, why I think it's going to fail. And I come over here to Social Blade, which is no longer as, well, as useful as a metric as it used to be. But here we have the page, and we can see here that they've got uh, 7.48 million subs with 1.184 billion views, billion views by mouse would work here, right? That's a lot of views, but let's scroll down here to look to see at the subscriber count that he gets. Now he's averaging 10,000 plus a day, 10,000 new subscribers a day on average, right? And that's like now just what the API is showing. So it could be more, it could be a little bit less. It's, oh no, it's rounding down. So it's definitely more, but the video view count is still there. We have 15 or 1.5 million views on Sunday, uh, uh, October 20th, uh, 3 million views on the 24th, 3.1 million views on the 25th. And you can see here, he's got an average daily view count of 1.6 million views with averaging about 11 million views a month. That is, or weekly, sorry, 49 million views a month. That's my bad. 49 million views a month. That is more than, a, than many shows get on network television. That is more combined for a month than the series finale of Game of Thrones and boast and watched live and pirated, which was just about 39 million people, according to estimates. So this dude has reach. This dude gets people to watch him. Why would you compromise the integrity of your show by going and doing a stupid game show? We're like, who is it appealing to? Who's the audience here? Average everyday people can come and answer pop culture trivia while sucking down on spicy wings. It's like, just put it in a Hooters and call it a day, I guess, because that's all it feels like. The, the it's, it's like, imagine for a second, and this is going to be a really weird analogy, but imagine like the talking dead all of a sudden adding a game show element where they take someone from the audience and they go, do you want a chance at winning $25,000? Well, you're going to answer trivia about tonight's episode and you're also going to have to do it while being upside down, surrounded by bees. It, it just, it, it's so left field. It makes no sense. This is a bad move, but I guarantee you Warner media because they're looking to push HBO Max and they're looking to find a way to make that a thing. They're going to put this on True TV and then that's going to be on HBO Max. And they're going to be trying to sell it as an HBO Max thing because they're going to want to push subscribers. Fans of Sean Evans will then be pushed towards HBO Max. It's a solid investment deal because they're, they're taking a guy who has a very strong fan base, a very strong following that has gotten big celebrities, some of the biggest in the world to come over eat hot wings with him. He travels around, uh, does it to where they need him to be. It's an intimate environment, a very intimate thing, but people like watching it, watching your average everyday person, just try to answer pop culture trivia while in the same position is nowhere near as interesting as somebody led him to believe. This is a bad idea. <laughs> it's, it's a horrible idea. Uh, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be entirely wrong. And when it comes out, it's going to be glorious and it's going to be great. I don't think I am. But you tell me, is this something you want to see? If you are a Sean Evans Hot Ones fan that's coming in after finding this, 
and you and you want to see this. Let me know why. Let me let me know what about it in, 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 intrigues you. Do you watch game shows? Do you do you sit there and watch The Price Is Right with Drew Carey? Do you did you watch uh what's what's that new one that the 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 Chris Hardwick was hosting the the game the bridge the the pendejo I don't know. Do you watch game shows? I mean, like, is it anything about it that really seems intriguing to you? And, and let me know why. I am like legitimately curious. We are so beyond the age, in my opinion, of game shows that it seems ridiculous to 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 flip the script on a proven formula that pulls in. 50 million views a month, roughly on YouTube and turn it into something that is just corporate shilling for no other reason than you needed to fill a 30 minute time slot. Kudos on licensing out your shows. That's fantastic. That's great. That's where the money is. There's a reason why Big Bang Theory sold its, its distribution rights or its streaming rights for $1.5 billion. There's money in licensing. But the game show is just like the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. And I watch Uva Bull films. Anyway, your thoughts, your opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. If you made it this far, please slap a like or a dislike. It's all good. But uh, make sure you hit, you type in uh, uh, hot ones in the chat so I know you made it. And uh, thank you guys again for your time and for your opinions. I look forward to reading them. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.